if you want to see me create my first look with the quad of the month for May, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and yes, you heard right. It is the quad for May, my first look with the quad for May. I think you'll understand why May and the month before that, April and part of March were a little crazy, and I did not wear as much makeup as I would normally, which meant that I did not get to the quad of the month. I didn't get to half of what I intended to use during the month of May. I know it's shameful, but I am catching up, and so there's going to be a little bit of overlap with uh, the quad of the month for May and the quad of the month for June, because I need to just get through these looks. So just a refresher on these um, shadows. So we have La Playa, Sideline, Team Captain, and Facet. And all four of these are um, from Makeup Geek. And I'm really, I love this. It's a beautiful quad for spring. And I cannot wait to dig into these. Now, I am training some folks tonight, so I'm going to go pretty uh, mild as far as color goes. I'm going to leave the green out of it. And I'm going to go with this one, this one, and this one, with this one going first, because I'm going to put it in the crease. I'm just going to check quickly. Yeah, so I'm going to use, um, like I said, facet in the crease, so we're going to get started right away. And I'm going to go with a fluffy brush that is turning into my favorite as a starter brush, which is, I keep wanting to read, it's it's been rubbed off, but it is a brush from Quo, which is sold in uh, Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. And of course, this quad has no mirror, so let me just grab a mirror. I'm going to use the mirror in my uh, Makeup Forever Artist One palette. Let's see how I can make this work. Okay, here we go into facet. Loaded up the brush and let's get going. It's going to be a very quick look, so I'm going to do both eyes at the same time. I've been doing more quick looks lately compared to really uh, involved ones. I guess that's in the eye of the beholder. It has different <laughs> views on what is a, a complex look and what's an easy look. We're so all so different when it comes to makeup. I was so excited to get these first shadows from Makeup Geek. Really, really excited. And I do have another set coming to me. After receiving the first bundle of these, these are the old shadows, and I wanted to try them. They were on clearance. I was so excited that I ended up getting a, a second um, set of shadows, and they are on their way to me. I'm very excited and looking forward to trying them out for sure. Well, I'm still trying these out, never mind another set, but really excited to have products from Marlena. And if you want to know what um, all the colors that I received and swatched, I'll put the swatches video right here. It's, there's a lot, there is a lot. This is just a little assortment quad uh, that I did for this uh, month of May, the past month of May. But um, I also did a quad with Makeup Geek Shadows last month as well for April. Okay, I'm going to bring that facet down on the lower lid, and I'm going to use my trusty angled brush from Sephora. It, it was in a set of five with this kind of tan color handle, and I don't think that Sephora sells that anymore. This was a couple of years ago. That looks nice.
Very cool. Very cool. I think I'm going to deepen up the outer to center lid and I'm going to use a different brush. And um, just using this full coverage shadow brush from Smashbox should make a very big difference in the opacity of facet. Oh, and speaking of the Makeup Forever um, Artist One, the center shade on the top row is what I have on my brow bone. I5 something. I514 is what I have on my brow bone. But of course, everything that I'm using, you can always find in the description box. Why well, say that? But there's one video I did recently where um, the whole description box is basically a list of 38 um, people of color owned brands and one uh, owned by um, uh, Aboriginal, uh, a couple of the Aboriginal ladies in, um, in Canada. So um, it, Indigenous people in Canada um, also have a a rough time and uh, so it is a bit of a mixed list and if you're curious about the uh, that brand it is Cheekbone Beauty that I am looking forward to ordering from and I heard about them from Kara C here on YouTube. I'll link to her channel. And that list of um, uh, people of color owned brands is heavy on um, ownership by uh, women as well in that list, just as a comment. Not all of them, but most of them are woman owned. Something really shiny here, I don't know why. Okay, that made a big difference, right? I, I like it. Okay, so we are ready to go into shimmer and I think I think I'm going to take more of facet and do it as uh, use it as a liner along the lash line for the bottom lashes. Let me grab a brush for that. I did not plan on it and let's do that before going back to the upper lid. Here's my liner brush, which is a pro brush from Sephora called the eyeliner uh, flat liner, pardon me, Pro Flat Liner 25. Just going to go into facet again and just go along the lash line and see if I can intensify that well enough. I also have on my upper waterline the um, Urban Decay pencil, 24-7 uh, glide on pencil in zero, which I usually have on my waterline when I'm doing videos. This is going on better than I thought. That's good. I wasn't sure how much opacity I would be able to get, but it's, it's pretty decent. Okay, I really like this. I really, really do. And let's see if I end up using it on the upper lash line as well. But I want to do the other shadow before going any further. So now I'm going to uh, switch to my uh, trusty multitasker brush from Smashbox. And I'm going to go into Team Captain, which is, I've got too many things in my hands. I'm going to go Team Captain on the inner to center lid, and then I'm going to go to La Playa for the outer lid. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's do the inner to center lid with this brush, and then we will go to the outer lid. I'm probably going to do a little bit of uh, back and forth, but 
Okay, so here we go. And I'll use my finger and just tap on Oh, that's really, really pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to use my middle finger to go into the other shade. I think it's uh, Team Captain. And just go to the outer lid. This is working out really, really nicely. So let me do the same on the other side. I always love it when combos turn out so well, you have to kind of guess. And boy, I really like this. And it does, it's different, but it reminds me of the look I did with the, uh, the Power Palette. That one was so much fun. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to finish up with that, the finger to the center lid. And then use the middle finger, as I said, for the outer lid. See if they match. Oops, yeah. All right, so I have just a little bit of cleanup right here to do. And I think that I think I'm going to do black liner on the upper lid. I'm not going to use, um, what's it called again? It's a weird name, facet. I won't use facet on the upper uh, lid. I'll use a black liner. I want to do mascara. I think the lip uh, works fine with the look, so I won't change that. It's a layered, it's a Clinique uh, Blossom Pop lipstick, and it's also on top the uh, Elizabeth Arden um, Smoky Plum 37 on top. So it's a two lipstick combo. So I'm going to go and finish the look and uh, let you know what I used. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and let's just go over very quickly what I used. I reapplied this Urban Decay Zero 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I really like it for my upper waterline. I usually have it on at the beginning of any kind of makeup look video. And then I used this Ciate London, uh, I think it's called Fierce Flicks, and it is a beautiful liquid liner that I used on my upper lash line, and you can do a, a very uh, fine or a, a very thick line, so you can uh, adjust as you need. And I just, I didn't do a wing, I wanted to keep it more simple than uh, too extravagant today. And I used a couple of mascaras. This is the combo I've been using lately. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme on my upper lashes, two coats. And I also used the High Impact Mascara from Clinique, which I keep saying is not high impact. I used it on my lower lashes, just one coat. And so I'm just trying to use it. And if it works on my lower lashes, then I can use it that way. And finally, I did mention what was on my lips, uh, but just let me show you. This is the Clinique uh, 01 Blushing Pop, and it's a matte lipstick. I quite like it, actually. And then I topped it, because my look is a little bit more on the purple side, I uh, topped it with 37 Smoky Plum from uh, Elizabeth Arden. And I think that they made a really nice combo. And finally, I had to reach back for this. I uh, finished off with the All Nighter Setting Spray uh, that I quite like. I'm getting very low in this bottle and very happy to have a backup. 
So that is it. This is my first look with the quad, the second quad that I'm using from Makeup Geek two months in a row that Makeup Geek makes it as my quad of the month. Let me know what you think of this look. I look forward to your comments and let me just show you the quad again. If you have combinations that you would like me to use, please let me know. So uh, let me just do it this way. Uh, let me know if there are some combos that you would like to see. Other than that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.